The San Luis Valley is one of Colorado's most distinctive destinations and is bordered to the west by the San Juan Mountains and to the east by the Sangre de Cristo Range with its rugged and jagged peaks. In the middle of it all, you'll find the city of Alamosa, a perfect hub for year-round adventure and a base camp for exploring the area's attractions. The town offers a wide variety of lodging choices, authentic cultural cuisine, and interesting art galleries. While in the city, cool off at the end of the Rio Grande's newest water slide that offers a perfect soaking experience and an enjoyable place for kids of all ages. Alamosa gets its name from Spanish, meaning a group of cottonwood trees. And it's no wonder that the town's parks are full of them, and they also line the river that flows through the city. Less than 25 minutes from Alamosa, tourists will find the Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, which in 2004 became Colorado's newest national park. This is where you can take your entire family to explore one of the greatest exotic natural wonders of Colorado. On your way back from the sand dunes, you'll find another unique safari destination, the Colorado Gator Farm, where one can see alligators basking in thermal waters that naturally percolate from underground springs. If you're a train lover, Alamosa is also the gateway to Colorado's newest rail excursion, the Rio Grande Scenic Railroad over Levita Pass, that allows you to enjoy scenery along a route that hasn't been used for 50 years. To top off your San Luis Valley and Alamosa experience, nothing can be more calming and relaxing than a swim in the artesian waters of the Sand Dunes Hot Springs Pool, where you can immerse in the soothing waters while admiring fantastic mountain views. If you think we left the West and are now in Florida, well, think again. Yes, what you see are alligators. And yes, we're still in the West, still in Colorado to be precise. Located in the heart of the San Luis Valley, about 17 miles north of Alamosa, is the Colorado Gator Farm, a fascinating tourist destination that takes full advantage of the warm, pleasant geothermal waters of the area. The farm houses approximately 400 alligators, some of which were raised here, but also provides shelter for over 50 alligators that were either rescued from various situations or were abandoned by their previous owners. Jay Young, an animal lover and self-proclaimed alligator wrestler, is the owner of the gator farm, and he constantly educates people on alligator behavior as he literally grew up with some of his alligator friends. Uh, we started the farm in 1977 as a fish farm. We used geothermal water to grow tilapia, which is an African perch, very good eating fish. We got the first alligators in 1987 to be garbage disposals for the fish farm. Um, we produce 100,000 pounds of fish each year. We'll have about 10,000 pounds die along the way each year. And we use the alligators to take care of those dead fish. Um, our visitors who come uh, here are allowed to see dozens of species of, of different reptiles, mostly rescues, as well as hold small alligators and get a little hands-on experience. And they get to uh, feed uh, the larger alligators and uh, for the, uh, the real thrill seekers, we have alligator wrestling classes where we start you off with the little ones and uh, work you all the way up to the 11 footer, 600 pounds. These are our adult alligators. Well, they're 20 years old. Alligators will live 60 to 90 years and they grow their entire lifetime. So these aren't anywhere near full grown. They'll get about twice this size, but some of them are already 600 pounds. They grow faster here actually than they do in Florida because they have warm water year round. We'll go say hi to one.
Noah Mather is another one of the interesting individuals who works at the farm, and he too grew up with his gator friends. I've been out here as long as the alligators, yeah. Back when they first got here, it wasn't so much working here. My my best friend's parents owned the whole place and we'd come out here and play and chase each other around and play with the animals. And so all my life I've grown up doing this and this is where I like to call home and this is the job that I'd like to do the most. So if you're a reptile lover and think Florida is just too far, then add the Colorado Gator Farm to your next Cross West adventure. <laughs>